Hi everyone. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning from whenever you're calling in from or listening to this recording from. Um, yeah, it's, it's, quite, it's quite late. Um, had um, visitors over, so I couldn't come to the call as, um, as I wanted to. Um, apologies for that. I know some people may have stayed up and um, I know we're really expecting me to um, this call to happen. So I do apologize if you have waited up and then this ha didn't happen. You know, and I indeed actually really wanted everyone to be around so I can just um, um, discuss, um, just point out a few things that I'm really looking at in the market for us. Um, most especially the Brexit um, parliamentary vote. Uh, it's quite important because I know, you know, what we want always like in the market is volatility because um, that helps us, you know, move the market and we can make money from it. So GBP, um, you know, this um, boat that we were expecting five weeks ago that didn't happen, that they postponed. So the MPs are going to be voting on the Brexit, um, um, Theresa May's Brexit deal. You know, so we're going to decide, we're going to find out what that means if they pass the bill, they pass the, um, they are, if they accept it, then it means maybe on the 20, 29th of March, we might start looking at um, um, progress with the Brexit. But if not, they have a number of options on the table, maybe the no deal, the um, second referendum, you know. Um, or vote of no confidence when, when, which means that Theresa May might have to step down eventually. So, so that's one of the things that we have to, you know. I know fundamentals. Some of us may um, may not really do a lot of fundamentals like this, but sometimes it's just good to have an idea of what's what's happening. You know, so so that's something to look out for. Um, you know, speeches are good. Um, um, the Euro guy, the President Draghi, is going to speak. On Tuesday, we have Monday all day, we have JPY, um, Bank Holiday, and uh, most of the other news are not high impact news. Um, Khan is speaking on um, Wednesday. And another thing that is also going to cause volatility in the market, I don't know how much impact that is going to be, but it's definitely going to cause impact on currencies. The G20 20 minutes, G20, that's um, the meetings of um, 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 members of um, ministers of um, and um, presidents of um, ministers and presidents of um, the different nations, 20 nations, uh, I think, um, is it 20 nations or industries that are that they're going to be meeting and discussing things. Um, you know, I think the press is not allowed in most of those their meetings, you know, so that's probably going to impact the um, currencies as well. So the G20 meeting, so just be on the lookout. It's a two day program, it's a two day meeting. It's going to happen on, on Thursday. And on Friday, I think this G20 also includes the G7 countries, which is um, Japan, um, Japan, Canada, UK, uh, a number of them there. I, can, I don't know the number. Yeah, so just be on the look at it, you know, a, a number of news releases, which is really, I feel this week is going to be, you're going to see a lot of volatility in the market. So just be on the lookout. Straight up, I'm just going to go through this chat real quick because. Um, uh, yeah, I'm a bit knackered now, you know, all week and uh, yeah, church activities and stuff. So from last week, we were really looking at this AUD chef. Um, it's really been slowing down. So I'm not really seeing much movement in it. You know, it's really, I, I expected it to have moved all the way back up. You know, what we're looking at, we're looking at this double bottom. So this is where it still is. So I'm not looking to trade the downside. So this is not really my pair anyway. But if it bounces here and then returns to the downside, I'm not really looking to trade it. I really want to trade. My one mindset bias for this trade is for it to break to the upside and then goes for my double bottom here. But I'm not going to chase this pair because it's not really my pair. But if I see it create the double, if I see it respect this double bottom, then I'm going to take this trade. So that's what I'm looking at for this battle. I want to mark this since last week, but it hasn't really moved a lot. I think it was here, somewhere around here. So, and it climbed all the way here. So it's fine. It hasn't moved into my trading zone. So normally a double, bot a double bottoms, um, you know, double tops and double bottoms or what did they um, call the M's and W's. Um, we normally look for trades at the shoulder. This is the shoulder. 
you know, at this level here, this is where you start looking for your trade. So it means if that be the case, then you should just measure from that level to this level. This is your, um, your what's it called? Now measured move. Then this will be your TP. You see, it kind of um fits right into that level. You know, with the, with few change. Yeah, you no. Know? May just terminate somewhere around here, then keep dropping because of that higher time frame thing. See, that's been the level that it's been and it hasn't broken. But again, look at if what if you're looking at what I'm seeing as well, this looks like another double bottom. Yeah, so it, which means if this happens, then it breaks above, then it means we're in for a long, long ride. You know, I like seeing the big moves in the market. So those are some of the things, some of the um, levels we might be looking to win our trades. So if that happens, then maybe this might be the double, um, the measured move, so that, and then boom, can you see that? Uh, almost perfect, yep, see that. So if this happens and this continues to the upside, we will not only, we will not only um, get all of this, all of this, this is entering early. Some people, uh, the, this is the rule. The rule means says you should enter from here, but if you can get a, an early entry here with a tight stop loss, then go for it. So if we can enter all the way from here, this is where we're going to. That's a thousand five hundred. I'm going to say thousand five five ninety pips, thousand five hundred and ninety pips. Yep. 1,590 pips, that's massive, isn't it? Okay, so just be on the lookout for that trade again. If it comes down, I'm not looking to trade it. This is where I'm looking for my move for this particular trade. That's AUD, Chef, was the Chef. Now look at this one as well. You know that, I don't know, I pointed it out last week, but I was looking at this, I think it was somewhere around here, that I was looking for this to come all the way back down for me to look for an entry for the double um, head and shoulder. So it kind of came down and then bounced up again, you know, but still within that shoulder that we're looking for, you know, and then what you see, it came all the way down. And then look at, I thought the um, retest would be on this level, but the retest actually happened here. I noticed it today. So it did it may give us a retest here. If you drop down to one, um, I will see, see that break retest and then it continue to the downside. So that's that one. So I'm really looking for this to continue all the way down to this level for a total of uh many pips there. Let me just take it from here. 500 pips, 560, 550 pips. So right now, this is where it is at. So what we're looking for now is an entry. It's done this one entry. So might be looking for another entry at this level. So this is your next level for an entry. For you to take it you still have a few you missed this if you missed that one no, not a problem you still have uh, about 200 300 pips or there about or you still have 400 plus 460 pips to go so look for an entry on nzd euro nzd nzd card one of my favorite ones that we looked at now look at this look at this look at this on the one hour uh four hour look at that inverted head and shoulder Play that. I kind of missed it, you know. I missed it. I think I missed it. I traded this on Friday when the market had closed. I saw this move. So it wasn't my Friday on Saturday or Saturday. But look at this. Look at that inverted head and shoulder. Look at how perfect it um, happened and then played out. All right. So that's already on top. So I was expecting, but for me, this is what I was waiting for. Before I saw that inverted head and shoulder, I was waiting for this to drop here and then con go to this level, yes, from where it was. I was waiting for it to go to that level and then drop. That was my move. Based on that, um, you know, remember we had this, um, what's it called now? We had this um, um, descending channel, I could say. So I gave that to those two biases that if it doesn't break above, if it breaks above, then it's going to the less level and returning. But if not, then it's going to break below, retest this level, and then continue to the downside. It kind of did break below, but um, gave us a bearish engulfing. Good move, good trade. This would have been a good trade to take. you know. But then again, uh, market would do what market would do. And then it jumped back, right back into that um, descending channel. So it was all good. We never, I didn't chase it. I just let it go. 
But when I looked at it again, I saw that inverted head and shoulders. Like, okay, that's beautiful. So I'm expecting this to go all the way back to the top and then give us an entry from here. I don't, who knows, it may, have to even, it may begin from here, but that's one way to look at it. The next one I wanted us to see is this one. You know, um, so let's look at this, look at that um, head and shoulder forming. So the reason why I feel this should be an inverted head and shoulder, because this, the completion of this and dropping will give us our left shoulder, our right shoulder. Dropping will give us our right shoulder. Isn't that lovely? So if this finishes, this move finishes, it will be the begin of this move. So if you can get an entry from here, you'll probably be getting a very, very good entry for this move, 400. So if we can get an entry, that's, this comes down. So this is what we're expecting. Expecting this to happen, this to happen. So this is a very lovely trade if it plays out. Very, very lovely trade, guys. So don't miss this move. Don't miss this move. That's my bias. Could be here. Could stop here. Let me see how much our, could the normal level, what the normal level would be, how long. So from there down here. Okay. See? Measured move. Assume it came out from here. Not bad, not bad. But I would stay in the market and see what it does to see if it's gonna take me all the way down here. Let me see what reason I would have for that to happen. Yep, not a bad reason. Why is it not a bad reason? Because look at that descending ch channel that we looked, that we saw months back. Weeks, it was it months back now? Yeah, because of that level, go, drop, go, drop, go, drop. So I'm expecting this to drop as well. So it may not, oh, it may not come all the way down though. But it's not a problem. It's not a problem. Um, let's just watch it. Let's watch and see what it's gonna do. But you know, you see, you've seen, you've seen the move. So I'm expecting this move, this move right here, this drop right here, to complete this second shoulder, which will give us an entry, or we can even look for an entry at the top here. So I'm looking for an entry. Maybe I might even do a sell, a buy limit here. But if I miss this move, if I miss it all the way here, I'll probably just look for an entry somewhere down here. But there's really nothing to, unless of course I do something like this. I draw this out. Then I wait for that move to happen. I wait for this move to happen. This to happen, retest and then drop. So but until then, I'm just gonna watch this one out. I'll, I'll be playing towards the upside, let it keep going as it's going, I'll let it go to the top and then look for my entry right there. I don't want this to be too long, but <laughs> I guess might just, um, okay, I'm just gonna leave that alone. I'll tidy up later. Um, Euro, Euro um, pound, well, I was gonna point out this, um, um, cup of cocoa to us. We missed it. <laughs> totally missed it. I don't think we took this. It was a lovely move. Yeah, see that? See that handle? And then that to the moon. So you know how we trade cup of cocoa? Let me do draw that again. It comes from under. Gives us that. I don't like this red, but I'm just going to manage it. And gives us a hand. Oops. Gives us a handle. And then to the moon. That's what we look for. A cup of cocoa. You know, I know some people do that, and then all they look for is this move to 25 pips, 10 pips. Yeah, uh, what's the Lizardo? Lizardo, yeah, it does that. So if you trade that, that's not a bad idea as well. But I like to see the full trade itself. This is a full trade. You know, that's a full trade, and then that takes you to the upside. Okay, so um, that's for this guy right here. Um, yep, waiting for this to break below. I don't even trade this pair that much. So I may not even look for this to return to the upside because look at that, so messy. There's no clear definition of where it's going to. It got to this level, dropped. Uh, it didn't get to the to the downside. Went back up, it didn't even get there again. It stopped halfway, it didn't even get here. Dropped again, it didn't come to this downside. So it's just been all over the place. You know, so I don't want to take the risk. I thought it's going to move from here because I marked this in. Fair enough. It broke out like we expected. And, you know, and then eventually it didn't, 
a drop back. He didn't go get to the level we wanted it to go to. You know, although if we had entered, probably would have moved our stop loss in. But that's, you know, it's a lot of effort to draw out this chart and expect these things to play out, and it don't happen sometimes. You just want to let them go, especially if it's not a pair that you you monitor, you uh, you know, you trade normally. So for this one now, I'm expecting this and waiting for this to continue to the downside. So if it breaks here, retest that level and then continue to the downside for a total of 100 pips. Yep, so if it's um one of your pairs, you can look out for it as well. Um, yep, we've been, we've been watching this GU. This is this trade. So lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, now lower low. So I expect that lower high probably to get all the way up here or even it might even terminate somewhere here before coming down because you know how it is lower low lower high uh, you know it mustn't if it breaks above this then it's probably going to continue to the upside so right now it may just terminate somewhere around here to create another lower low and then come lower than that you know you know the rules it's probably going to come lower than that and then when it comes lower than that then we look for the trade at this level you know, we look for the trade at this level. So if I'm going to trade this, I may just even ignore this one because I'm not sure it's going to come all the way back to this previous high. You know, so I'm just going to ignore the high, the upper side altogether for this um, short term, um, what's it called now, counter trend trading. I'm just going to ignore that and wait for it to come all the way down here. So I wait for my second, my next lower low, which is much more... Um, Feasible, feasible compared to the upper side because there's no assurance that this is going to go to the to this high. Remember, we are dealing with um, a downtrend, so lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. We're now at lower low, so we're looking for the lower high. Yeah, so just be on the lookout for this pair. Uh, my best trade would be for it to come back down, probably do what it wants to do on the upside, and I let it go, you know. And then when it comes back down, or if you can catch it all the way from where it starts coming down with your entry um, rules, and golfing can do whatever you see, then that's your trade. Um, AUD, USD, remember this one, we're waiting for it. I think it was somewhere around here, we wanted it to go because of that double bottom. Same thing we saw in the um, AUD, Chef. Yeah, same thing. So I've already said that. I know some, some people just joined, so... Um, yeah, it might, you would have to catch the recording. Um, so the same thing was seen there is the same thing was seen here. So double top, double bottom, and then we're waiting for this to go all the way to the up side. This one, I'm not really, I'm not particularly waiting to trade this level at all. I'm not going to be trading this level at all. Where I'm going to be taking my trade will be from this level. It's because it's, it's quite close. Well, I'm on the weekly, so I'm really going to ignore this level. You know, and just let it come all the way here for more, uh, uh, for a higher chance, a higher level of um, prob a higher probability of trading this level, this um pair. So just this one, I'm gonna ignore this, all of this. You know, but if something that you wanna trade, um, just you know, wait for. Uh, let me see if he's already made a retest. He has already made one retest. Okay, it's already done that, broken out, retested, and then continue to the upside. So you see, it's it's all it's so little. The moves are not so convincing. So, but if you want to take the um, risk, just um, that's your trade right there. Okay, that has already happened again. It's broken that, and it's come back to retest. It's now it's continuing to the upside. Your next move, left place of trade. Oh, I can just get this to click. Okay, yeah. So your next point. Okay, this might be problematic. Uh, let me see. So that's a problem with this um, MT4 sometimes. Okay, worked. So your next point of trade will be this level here. Will be here, this level where it got to before dropping. So that's where you'll be looking for another trade. I'm just going to leave that there. So look for another trade at that level, retest, and then take it to the top. Yep. So so as to catch the early move, early entry of that um, double bottom. Uh, I explained it a bit more on the AUD chef. So you, uh, you know, please just catch that recording. So that's the level I'm waiting for. Yep. AUD card. Same thing. Same thing. So break above. It's already happened. Retest already happened. So this is to the upside. So your next 
move would be, the next move would be for you to break that. I don't know why I'm still using this red. I don't like red. So the next move will be to wait for this to break, for this to come in, retest that, and then take it to the upside like we're expecting um, that move to happen based on that analysis that we did. Let me see what else we saw. Yeah, I think that's all we saw. So for that to break, double bottom, break above, retest, and then take us to the upside. But um, yeah, I may just ignore this one again. Yeah, I'm not really, but uh, these ones that I showed us earlier were the ones that I'm really looking at. Uh, yeah, this one saw that, expected that to go to the top and drop, and um, it came up, but it didn't quite get to the top before beginning to drop. And then it created that flag, and I caught that as well. And it um, um, broke out to the upside. Now, um, got to that level. Now I'm expecting this to continue to the downside. So if you is still quite early in the trade, in fact, it's already creating a bearish engulfing, but it's not strong enough. I don't know. Yeah, because it's a new year, so we're not really going to see um, large moves as we expect, you know, like that. I know when the beginning of the year we saw some good moves, but if we can't, won't see them consistently as we used to see them before. So, yep, so it might be, you might start looking at that as, as an opportunity to trade your stop loss tights somewhere around here and then look for your move to the downside, um, probably that level that I created for it. Yep, so that's your trade for GU, I mean GJ. Um, let me just knock that off. Let me see what else. Yeah, that's that GG trade. And then, but if it breaks above, if it hits your stop loss, obviously you know it's gonna go. Um, it's gonna go back up. If it breaks your stop loss, takes you out. And it's gonna do this and then go to the upside. You know, so that's your move on GG. But I'm not particularly gonna be taking GG today as well. Gold, 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 gold. Yep. Expected my goal to go all the way up and then turn. Yeah, I knew it was going to turn at this level eventually because I reanalyzed it. I knew it was going to turn at this level. As initially, I thought it was going to go all the way to the top before making that turn. But when I reanalyzed the same thing I saw on UCAD that I missed on UCAD, I didn't miss it on this one. So I saw that um, supply level you know and then what happened when price got there yes it dropped so i was thinking it was going to drop all the way down here but kind of stopped halfway and then continued back to the top but it didn't even get to so this one right now um, but when i looked at it again i saw this um um, um gatley pattern forming so i was thinking okay this probably might just happen this might just come all the way down here before continuing to the upside, but as you can see, it's already moving, so I don't know where it's going to. So if it's going back to the top, it's all good. I'm not even gonna bother taking this guy right now. We've been noticing something quite um, um, uh, important here. It's respecting the structure. You noticed it. See, price broke, retested, bounced, broke it, retested, dropped broke it again, went, came back, retested, bounced, came back there, bounced. So it's been respecting that level. So I would look for my trade around here instead, rather than looking for the, uh, or look at my trade, you know, these areas, because like I thought it was gonna get here before dropping. It didn't, I mean, for here, it didn't, it didn't go up, if it didn't get there before dropping, you know? So I'm be more concerned about this level, because that's where price really had more activities happening. That bounce, retested, bounced, broke it, retested, there, retested again, dropped, broke it, came back there, jumped, came back there, jumped. So that's your level right there. So if already, it's already made its move, so you might just ignore that, you know, and then watch for it to come back here to look for an entry, um, stop loss somewhere around here. Not so if you trade gold anyway. So that's gold. Um, this is my final one, card yen, inverted head and shoulder. Um, yeah, it looks <laughs> it looks kind of um um not well fed anyway, but um it might still be short shoulder, short shoulder, but uh, for me to trade this I need to see this break to the upside so I can take it back to the top here. 
for a total of, if I can get that 600 pips, 600 pips, if we can get that entry, that would be one of those lovely ones. So recap, I've looked at this, um, in fact, I mean, head and show, I mean, double bottom. So I'm saying that I'm not really a fan for AUD Aussie Chef. Actually, Aussie Swift Frank, I'm not really a fan of it. So, but for me to trade this, I need to see this break above. If it returns to comes here and returns, even though I see an entry reason for me to trade it, sell it down, I won't bother. I'm really looking for the upside. So, if it breaks above, then I would trade it all the way back to the upside. Uh, I also pointed out that if you look at it on a higher time frame, it feels like a do another double bottom, which means that when we measured it, we saw this, which means that this might actually take us all the way from down there, down here, we can get an entry somewhere around here like we're looking for, and then this is where we're going to, that's 1,590 pips, if we can get catch that move. I looked at NZD as well, I think, did I, what's this? Okay, yeah, uh, then, uh, head and shoulder forming is already started. So the, uh, your next move will be somewhere around here. And then NZD cut two, three trades that I'm really, really looking at um, this time. One, because this, I didn't expect this to go all the way up and then we'll continue down because the drop will give us this one. The drop will complete our shoulder here, right shoulder so that we can look for an entry from there possibly down to this level or to this level for a total of 600 pips. So that's um, head and shoulder. You guys can clearly see that. Um, and this was an inverted head and shoulder that I, I missed and then saw it on Friday, but it, the move had already begun anyway. But I was looking for that to uh, break, out, break out and come to this level anyway. So now I'm expecting this to keep coming, then gets to this level. But let's just say, Everything the head and shoulder doesn't inverted doesn't complete here, and this head and shoulder doesn't happen. Then it means what? What does that mean? It means price is gonna break to the top. And if it breaks to the top, so I could get your entry and then your first TP around here, 70, 80 pips, and your next TP around here for total of 180 pips. So guys, that's the end of this session. Uh, I'm gonna post that um, tomorrow. I'm quite busy uh, Monday, so I'm gonna try and see if I can catch up with you guys, and then post the analysis, um, the charts on the platform. But this one, I'm gonna try and get this one that we've done tonight onto the platform. Please just watch it uh, from the beginning. I've shared a few things on the uh, fundamentals that we really need to look out for. So thank you guys, and um, I, again, I do apologize for making this too late. I had um, family over um, in-laws, and we had a lot of discussions and stuff. So um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye.